Hello, my name is Omar. In this video, I will show you how the import and export module works in Shopware 6. Shopware allows you to easily enter the content into your shop and also transfer the data from your shop using this function. We'll together have a look how the basic options of this function works Moreover, I will provide you with some specific details for every importable element, including example files, so that you can start directly adding content to your shop. The import export module is located under settings shop and it has three main tabs. Under the import tab, we have the ability to import the data into our environment. What we need here is a CSV file which contains the external data and necessary information to be imported. Secondly, we need to select one of the profiles in the list here. Using these profiles, we can import, for example, categories, customers, media and products. These profiles specify the structure of the external file. Is now we are going to see how the products are imported using the CSV file into our system. I'll go ahead and select default product profile. For the CSV file, we are going to download the example file existing in our documentation. So now I will switch to our documentation to show you how we can download the example file. So in our Shopware documentation in Shopware 6 area, you can find the import export article. Besides all the required information given here, on the right hand side you can find also the example CSV files which are ready to be downloaded for every profile. When we look at the downloaded CSV file from our documentation website, I see that all the applicable entries and columns are there. And also the mandatory fields are filled with some information and data that's belonging to the product. The first column is the ID of the product. By ID here, it's meant the UE ID of the product, in other terms, universal unique identification. Uh, keep in mind that when we are importing a new product to the system, this column should be left empty uh, because uh, UE ID is assigned by the Shopware system. But how to find this UEID in Shopware, I will switch to the admin and go to products under catalogs. Select one of the products in the list and go to the address line here. This highlighted is the UEID of the product. When I go back to my CSV file, I see another UUID which is belonging to the text. So this is also assigned uh, by the Shopware system. Uh, to compare and match uh, the UUID here in the CSV file with the one in the Shopware system, I will again switch to the admin area and check if this UUID is the one we are looking for. So text uh, is located under settings, shop, and as you see, we have three different uh, text rates. As uh, the one we are looking for is the 7% reduced rate. I just click on this. And again, I look up here in the address line. Um, the, the last number ID is the UEID actually of the text. I'll just copy this from the address line and go back to the CSV file and paste it here. 
and then I'll go ahead and save the file here. So now I move on to importing the CSV file that we have downloaded from the documentation website. I switch again to import export module under settings and I'm under the import tab here. First of all, we have to choose the file that we want to import. I click on simply on choose file and select the one we are willing to import. And uh, secondly, we should select the profile that we need. That is the default product profile. So I can uh, simply uh, start the imports by clicking on the start import or make a start dry run by clicking on the button next to it. That means uh, to see any uh, discrepancies will come up in the future by the import. Uh, uh, also to see check uh, if any inconsistent data is existing in the file. So this makes sense when we're importing a huge number of uh, products uh, to the system uh, to see beforehand if any problem will come up. So uh, as we are importing just one product, I will uh, simply start the import by clicking the start import button and uh, see an info notification here that the import is started and this is as I can see here down uh, processing and we will wait until it's completed. So the import of the uh, file using the default product uh, profile is completed successfully uh, to see if everything is all right, I will switch to catalogs and products and see if my uh, test product is imported. Here I see the product also is existing on the list and the tax rate also applied is that 7%. Under the export tab, I have also the ability to export all the information from our system to a CSV file using one of the profiles in the list, like advanced prices, categories, customers, media, and so on. But for now, I will uh, stick to the default product profile again and start exporting by simply clicking on the Start Export button. So I got the info notification here that the export is started and in the list under the status is I uh, see that is still processing and I got another notification that the export of the default product profile is uh, successfully completed. To check how the CSV file looks like I'll just uh, click on the context menu here and um, select download export file from the list. Uh, select the folder that we want to download to. So the CSV file is downloaded. Uh, let's go and have a look how the content of the file looks like. So the CSV file looks like this that we have recently exported using the default product profile. Um, as you can see, uh, the IDs are there for the products, uh, which are the UUIDs actually and also under the um, text ID you can see the UE IDs of the text as well. Additionally we have the test data um, additionally uh, to the demo data in the system is also exported to the CSV file that we have recently imported in the system. In addition to the standard profiles which are provided by Shopware, we have also the option to uh, create our own profiles. In order to proceed here, we, all, we have also two options. Either we can uh, duplicate one of the default profiles and edit it accordingly by selecting the duplicate uh, from the context menu, or we can uh, go ahead and add a new completely new profile by clicking on the add new profile here. So I'll go ahead and add a new profile to our system. 
the uh, new window is opened up and uh, here I should first of all give a name for the profile and next to it I see the object type here the object type specifies actually which database tables and columns the profile can access so I will um, select product from the list and below that I see the usage uh, is either export import or both this means we can choose uh, the, whether the profile uh, will be used for import export or for both so I'll go ahead and select the import and export under that, uh, under the field indicators, I see the separator character is by default selected semicolon. Uh, this means uh, this will be used to separate the fields in the CSV file. And next to it, I see the enclosure character. Uh, this appears at the uh, beginning and end of a text and within these characters, the separated characters are ignored. Uh, on the bottom of the page I see the import settings and uh, I can disable or enable uh, two things here create new entities or update existing data so we can define here how the import should handle the values of the import file uh, with the button create new records we define if the importer is able to create new records uh, in our system uh, for this purpose, the ID in the import file can be left empty uh, because, as we said earlier, this will be assigned by the Shopware system. Uh, with the update existing data, the import is enabled to overwrite existing information in the store. So, this uh, the information will be overwritten and uh, modified accordingly. I will move on to the next window by clicking on the next button down here. Um, in this window, we have the possibility to create our profile based on an already existing CSV file. That means this could be uh, exported from another store and all the fields from the CSV file uh, will be received, uh, which we can assign to the database entries. But as we are going to uh, create a new profile from scratch I will just skip this CSV upload in the next window I see the mappings and the columns CSV name database entry required default value and position the CSV name that we assign here must be the name of the corresponding column in the CSV file which is used with this profile the database entry specifies actually the entry in the database that this um, entry will be accessing to. On the right hand side under required we can disable or enable and specify uh, which minimum information should be in the uh, file to be imported. So next to it we have the default value here we can enter a default value in case uh, the field is not filled in the import file. In this case, the default value will be imported. We can also assign the position of this entry uh, by clicking on the button and moving in upwards or downwards. And we can easily delete uh, the entry by using the context menu here. Let's edit the CSV name of the ID here. Uh, by default it comes uh, with ID name and let's say uh, product ID and uh, we'll add a new mapping here. Uh, let's say uh, we, we want to see in the export file if the product is active or not. So let's give a name for the CSV name active and as database entry we should select from the list active which will be used uh, for this uh, mapping. So uh, this is 
uh, by default not required in the export file uh, but for this uh, in case this is not filled uh, and kept empty I will select the default value which will be uh, uh, appearing in the CSV file let's say no and I'll just go ahead and uh, move the position of the active entry to the second row and save the profile by clicking on the add profile button down here so the profile saved and we can see additionally in the list our test profile so we can just uh, proceed with an example of exporting uh, the products using our default test profile by clicking on the start export button so the export is started info is appeared and will wait until uh, the processing is done so it's successfully completed to see and check how the exported CSV file looks like uh, we'll just click on the context menu and download the export file so the file is imported and let's have a look how it looks like so this is the CSV file that we have exported using our test profile as you can see the first column is also edited and modified according to the uh, test profile change from ID to product ID and uh, the IDs appears as we said earlier as UUIDs and the text IDs as well and we have also the active column here and all other necessary information also uh, can be seen in the CSV file so you can go ahead and uh, edit the uh, newly created profile according to your needs and start importing or exporting the data into your system or from your system so this was an overview how the import and export function works in shopware 6. you can yourself now start importing and exporting data by using this module in the shopware system